The city of Syracuse has lost two of its major hotels with the Sheraton and Crown Plaza set to convert into residential housing. But today, County Executive Ryan McMahon announced plans to begin the process of building a new hotel downtown. Our Jonathan Kinane is downtown live on Harrison Street and has more. Jonathan? That's right, guys. The county executive today announcing what he calls the first step in bolstering Syracuse's hotel industry. The one area where we are behind the ball and everyone agrees on is the fact that we do not have enough hotel inventory. The loss of nearly 500 hotel rooms in the past few months hasn't done anything to help that. But today, the county executive announced a plan to bring a hotel to this county-owned parking lot on Harrison Street to help combat the problem. We need rooms. We need them now. So in partnership with the legislature, I'm going to be sending legislation to them, creating a hotel initiative. The proposal would sweeten the deal for developers by offering $4 million created by the room occupancy tax, along with grants ranging from fifty dollars to $750,000. The proposal has an eye on the future, but it will also help in the short term. To, to have big tent pole events like dome events or dome concerts or amphitheater concerts or festivals the size of Jazz Fest, we need places to accommodate them. So. And what about the long term? The micron angle. Well, the semiconductor manufacturer will, will bring an estimated 50,000 hotel room nights each year, creating a demand not seen since carrier air conditioning left town in 2004. Uh, the impact when they went away, so you talk about plugging a big hole, 50,000 room nights is significant. Yeah, guys, and the site is actually right behind me here. Uh, the county executive said he hopes for it, the hotel to hold about 200 rooms, and in the short term, they want to make Syracuse competitive when it comes to things like hosting conventions, even NCAA tournament games. The city tried and they tried to bid, but failed on a, on a recent NCAA tournament. Um, but definitely exciting times ahead in the city of Syracuse. Reporting live, Jonathan Kinane, back to you guys in the studio.